Hello everybody. Today we're going to talk about some of the different environments that you can use to get started programming with Python. And we'll discuss the text editors or code editors, some of the integrated development environments, and the programs. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that you can do if you have a Mac is you can go to your terminal and all you have to do is type in Python and Python should be pre-installed and you can see the information about the version right here and just to give you a quick little example you can see that this is a Python environment where you can type in code and that is the terminal version and we won't be talking too much about that but I just wanted to show you that it's a good place to go to see what version of Python you have installed and you can do some Python code in here okay okay so the next thing we're going to do is go to Wikipedia and just we want to show you where you can find out more information about Python here so if you want to read up on that this is a good place to start and this is also a good place to go to access the actual Python website so let's go ahead and click on that and if you don't have Python installed this is where you can install Python. It's python.org. Okay. And of course you can always double check the site to the certificate to make sure you're on the right site. All that good stuff. Of course if you linked from Wikipedia it's probably you're probably good to go. But let's go ahead and you can go to the downloads. And currently the versions available for Mac are 3.52 and 2.712. Um, there might be some other versions that you could download if you wanted to. And then if you have Windows, you can go here and you can download the appropriate version for whatever system and computer you're on. Okay? So just to recap on that, if you need to download Python or a new, newer version of Python, just go to python.org, go to the download section, and then obviously you want to figure out which system you're on so if you're on Windows go to Windows Mac go here and there are other platforms here okay okay once you have Python downloaded you should have at a minimum a couple icons that look like this one called idle and one called Python launcher we will not be using these tools or programs but I just want to show you just in case you did want to use them if you open up idle very similar to the terminal you can type in code here okay we'll be using a ID IDE or integrated development environment and let's show you now how you can begin to figure out which IDE you might want to use so let's go ahead and go to Wikipedia and type in Python IDEs and then you can click on this comparison of integrated development environments and one reason you might want to use an IDE as opposed to just a code editor or a text editor is IDEs usually give you more options it's a more comprehensive tool to allow you to create your code and your programs and applications and all that good stuff okay so now let's go to Python and here's a list of many of the Python integrated development environments and it gives you a lot of information about each one 
So it's worth taking about 15 to 20 minutes and going through these different IDEs and getting familiar with each one, what it offers, and trying to figure out which one you might want to use. Okay. So for example, you can click on PyCharm here. This will take you to its Wikipedia page. You can read about it. And then you can actually go to the website and check it out and see what it looks like, see if it's free or see if it costs, how much it costs. Um, sometimes some of them that do have a cost offer you a free trial period, all that good stuff. So long story short on that, just take some time, go through these different IDEs and figure out which one you want to use and uh, which one will fit your needs the best. We will be using Spider here, and I'll show you a package that you can use to download Spider and all of the tools that go along with it here in just a second. Now let's take you to the website where you can download the Spider integrated development environment and other tools and libraries that will allow you to program or develop using Python. Let's go up to the Wikipedia search bar. Of course, you can probably search for this using any search engine, but let's go ahead and just use Wikipedia and type in Python Anaconda. And then you want to click on the Anaconda Python distribution. This will give you a little bit of information about the Anaconda Python distribution package. You go ahead and click on the website here. And then you can download the Anaconda package using this web page. Just follow the instructions, find the package that will fit whatever system you're using, whatever operating system you're using. And then once you have that done, you should have an icon that looks like this called Navigator. You may have an icon that looks like this called Launcher. This is what I believe is the older or outdated icon, so you want to use the Navigator. This is one I use and it works just fine. Go ahead and click it. It'll take just a second to load, so give it just a minute. And then you'll see you have several different applications or tools. And we want to go ahead and click on the launch button for Spider. This too will take just a minute to load. And there you have it. Okay. We have a little bit of code already typed out here. To run this code, you can just click on this little play button or run button, and you can see it pops up over here in your console. Okay, just a couple more things before we finish up. If you're using Microsoft Windows, I do believe that Visual Studio has a Python add on package, so you could check that out. If you want to check out other apps that may be available for Python development, you can always go to your app store and type in Python, see what pops up. And then specifically for iOS, there's a very nice, cool application called Pythonista or Pythonista. So be sure to check that out if you'd like to program on your iPad or iPhone using Python. And I do think we'll probably do a couple tutorials using the Pythonista or Pythonista application. We'll be doing most of our examples, probably most of our examples, using this Spider IDE. Okay, so that's all we have for this little tutorial. Just wanted to give you a few options and show you what different tools you have and what environments are out there to help you program using Python. We'll be doing many more Python tutorials here in the very near future. 
Be sure to join us for those, and we'll see you next time.